All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, we are back. Let us see what this is all about. Fantastic. You Americans are nothing but shysters and traitors and slippery tongue bull suckers. I'm inclined to agree. Ah, here, help me please. Back to work with a bloody smile. <laughs> no problem, Marco. You are the great genius, so we shove the hot poker up the ice. Say thank you, Marco. Thank you. Oh, thank you. What are you? Some kind of. European toy maker? No, I am a fucking genius with poker up the ice, like I say. <laughs> toy maker. Hello? Do I look like I should entertain children? No. No, he says. <laughs> no. <laughs> I am the savior of the mankind, buddy. Yes, you meet him. Professor Marco Dragic. <laughs> they won the silver tongue American betray and, and not pay the money to. Yes, he told to shit, man. So, uh, what's this toy about? It is not a toy, Big Nuts. It is demonstration of my genius, of my ideas about the source of life. Oh, it's a toy boat. Yes, it is a toy boat that I can power remotely using electricity and waves you cannot see. Good for you. <laughs> Ways I cannot see. And still the investors will not come. Just a couple of old ladies and a moron. <laughs> ladies, please. <laughs> ladies! <laughs> Gentlemen! <laughs> oh, <chante. laughs> uh, hello. Hello, sir. <laughs> okay. Uh, how is the piles? Yeah? Good, good, good. Okay. Uh, my friends, you are about to witness history. A demonstration of my infinite insight. All of us, we feel old. You, you are old. Oh. But maybe I can make you immortal. Mm. <laughs> Using waves you cannot see, I will power this You're boat. a goddamn fraud. And this buffoon, dressed up like a buffoon, is a stoolie. I watch them conspire, you morons. I never met this buffoon before two minutes ago. Isn't that right? Which part of it? So, Professor, show us your magical toy boat. Only this time let the buffoon control it. Check if there's any funny business. No, this ain't nothing to do with me. Come, please, please. It is easy. Any moron could do it, and I am about to prove that. Here, take this, and this, and... Don't touch that. Use these ones to steer and this one to shoot torpedoes, okay? Yes, now now blow up the little battleships and, and avoid the sea mines. They have magnets attached. Make a nasty explosion if they touch the bottom. Okay! If this silly dimwit can use torpedoes on boat to destroy the battleships, imagine can do in the hands of certified genius and I enough with calling me an idiot be mine now look uh, you see what he does no wire like telegraph no pulley system underwater only waves in the air this is remarkable think of those poor boys on the HL Hunley eight of them perished to a mere five on the Housatonic another way to go Trapped in a box at the bottom of the bay. I suppose you intend to make an unmanned killing machine? You misunderstand. This is the secret to life. Not death. The transmigration of the soul. I make lifeless metal breathe like man. Well, I'm not sure about that. Even little boats can sink, okay? 
There we go. I mean, he, and he has basically just made a remote controlled sub. There, I'll go. Or a drone. <laughs> yes, you see what he does? Now bring the boat back to the dock. That sure was something. <laughs> Let me just reload her. <laughs> this is really remarkable. This is just a, a demonstration of my prowess, sir. <laughs> the real miracles require investment. <laughs> ah. Now the dimwit will use invisible waves to destroy the little sailing boats before they get to other side of pond. Still avoiding magnetic mines. No, he'll attend to it, please. Shush! You're not here for this smart talk. Torpedoes do not have so much range. I am an invisible wave engineer, not a rocket physicist. The steam train, the telegraph machine, the motor car. They will all seem pedestrian in comparison to this technology. We are not oh, damn, reliant on wires or coal or gasoline. No, just rays in the air. Like the voice of God. And funding from us? And funding from you, of course. But what a thing to fund. What an opportunity. No one is stupid enough to pass this up. Not even Dimwit here. Hey. You really want to work on your sales ah, Americans! All you think about is sales! Yeah, the sales pitch is the- Oh it's no! The, the sales pitch is to entice people into not avoiding it just because they hate you. Look who rules the seas! Very good! Very good! Now bring in the boat back here. <laughs> Dad, as I say, any fool, huh? Thank you, thank you. What is that? It is the stuff of life, sir. <laughs> it's incredible. No, no, no. Incredible things are in my lab back at Dover Hill. <laughs> that will astound all of you. <laughs> Mr. Marcel, can I count on your support? Well... This is expensive. It is immortality, sir. It is it is very cheap. Perhaps over lunch. Maybe. I'm gonna go. Oh, yeah, of course. And, and thank you. Um, if you're ever up near Dover Hill, pay me a visit. There, I will really amaze you. Um, <clears throat> I hope you will forgive the European course. Okay. Oh, my horse is in here. All right, you know what? Let's go down to the train station, pay off the bounty, fast travel over the roads. Get that moonshine. You have a problem? And bring it back down here. Then we're going to head up towards Valentine. Oh, to God, there's not a train behind me. <laughs> then again, I'd probably be dead quicker than I realized it. So, yeah. Of course. Hello, Hello, sir. Welcome. How do you do? Nothing like a fresh start. Thanks, mister. Hello, Hello, sir. <laughs> Where the... There we go. Hello, sir. No, partner, I'm... can I get a ride? Where are you going? Oh, thank God. Roads. Can I get a ride in the roads, please? 
No destination too close. That's my motto. Friend. There we go. Here we are, and it's raining. Lovely. This is the place. How you doing, X Clapper? Thanks. You help me out. You take more than that, boy. All in. Christ. My dear friend. Got any tips on some shine Man, there, buddy? In. I've got that, uh, information you asked for. Too sober to smile. Um, I need something more specific this time. A wagon full of moonshine. Well, you might just be in luck. I knew I picked the right feather to speak to. Thank you, sir. North of San Denis. Jesus, it's coming down. All the way over here? Jeez. Fuck. Let's set up camp and just fast travel. Because we've been past that area, so we can fast travel to it, thankfully. Yeah. So I do believe the closest area was La Croix. Alright, looks like we're here. It shouldn't be too far away from where we currently are. Yeah. I think, at least. Yep. Yep, we're good. Close to the area, so we should look out for any wagons. Yep. 
There we go. Uh. Oh shit. Yeah. Okay, who's next? Terrifying. Yep. We're just gonna leave that there. I want nothing to do with that nonsense. Oh shit! with that. Start raining again. Oh, come on, come on. There we go. Jesus. Absolutely gorgeous. Struck by lightning. <laughs> my money oh, it's, it's for a very good cause uh, my name is professor andrew bell the third perhaps you've heard of me <laughs> can't say that i have oh i'm an inventor uh, maybe you've read about me <laughs> uh, i don't read much oh oh well that's too bad oh yes <laughs> you got my money <clears throat> oh, well, it, it is the most wonderful invention, friend. Oh, you, sir, have done a great All deed. All I've done is get some creep a lot of drink. <laughs> Creepers. Excellent. No, nonsense. Now, you've helped me develop the most humane machine imaginable. A way to induce calmness to our most troubled souls. A way to end the barbarity of a public hanging. Oh, so, so humane. What are you talking about? The electric chair. What? 
You see, it's a chair full of electricity. It's quite fascinating. It calmly and peacefully dispatches the sinners uh, to face judgment, yes. No, judgment. it does not. Where is it? Well, uh, it's in my laboratory. The next thing I need is a, a demonstration, a public one. Huh. Uh, do you know the police chief? Hmm? As well as anyone. Oh, wonderful! Perhaps you can encourage him to let me demonstrate the chair. It will help bring this town into the next century. Yes, could you do that? Hmm? Speak to the police chief in the San Denis jail. Okay, well, I'll see what I can do. Psycho thinks the electric chair is humane. Honestly, a public hanging is more humane. Except for the public part. Usually, most of the time, you dropped, snap, you're good. No pain, nothing. Except for like the split second of pain that your brain feels when your neck snaps. <laughs> Same with being beheaded. That's more bloody though. <laughs> but the electric chair is you're basically you cooking a person alive. you happy, sir? Then you need to be rich. Every way, the easiest way, the best way to get rich is to read about it in my book. This is the veritable Bible of success, my friends. This book will make you the person you have always wanted to be, a Rick Bully. Hello, mister. Hello, friend. Do you want to be rich? Kinda already am. Oh, I'll take one. That'll be $50. $50 for a book? And cheap at the price. You read this, and you'll want to give me a hundred more. No, thank you. Books now cost 30. Forget about it. Huh. Well, you're lost, buddy. And you don't look rich. You look like you just stole those clothes listen, from a thrift store. Listen to me, friends. Oh, this book, this precious tome. Here we are. Really? What in God's name is going on? Clean some of my weapon. Okay. They don't look that dirty. So welcome to our humble police house. We'll be sprung before you know it. Get it. I can't possibly <sighs> help you if you don't tell I'm me what you need. I'm representing the inventor of a humane execution machine, an electric chair, and he uh, see you didn't get the wants to demonstrate his invention well, here. Ah, I'm familiar with the man and his work. Tell you what, I'll give you a permit, but it's going to cost you $100 in fees. $100? <sighs> Fine. It's better be worth it. Okay, well, the price is fair. Here you go. And here, sir, is your permit. A pen and unusual formalities, of course, such as... Uh, Finding a suitable candidate for humane dispatchment? I'll tell that to the professor. Good luck. Return to the professor. What? Where is he at? Oh, oh, oh back up here.
Good evening. Une bonne soirée à vous, monsieur. Howdy, fellas. I could have swore I heard a stranger over here. Let me vote. Let me vote. Let me vote. I can say this all day. Let me vote. Let me vote. Let me vote. I will say this for as long as it takes. Come on, people. Let me vote. Woman, you're in the middle of a city where no functions of government happen. Have a nice evening. You, my friend, what do you think about women's suffrage? Women voting? Sure, why not? Oh, thank you, sir. You are a true progressive. Anyone dumb enough to want to vote, I say go for it. Oh, a cynic. How dull for you. I do hope you grow out of it, young man. It's so unappealing. Unappealing is what I do best. <sighs> Evening, sir. Okay, hello. Good evening to you. Good evening. May one sure. Well, that was unpleasant. <laughs> I don't really know how to describe it other than unpleasant. Yeah. It's a dog my money. Hey! Will you help? A fella out? Uh. Come on. Get yourself I some know real you got food, some huh? money. Mm. Listen. You have to take this. Sure. Ooh, that's real kind. I lost my I money playing poker. Uh. I know boy. where a good game is. A boy. Above the gunsmith. Hush, hush. We'll take a look at it later. Oh no. What restaurant is this? Is this just a. Uh... Oh, this is the bank. Professor. See if he's got a candidate all lined up. Look out! I can't jump over this. Okay. Professor, Professor... Andrew Bell the Third. That's it. So, the chief says you can test out your machine, oh. pending the usual formalities. And what are they? Uh, finding a suitable, uh, subject. Ah, funny you should mention. This fella here, he seems sturdy enough, and he's guilty as sin. Wilson J. McDaniels. Wanted for murder, bigamy, and... Immoral animal husbandry. What's that? The mind shudders. Uh, here, find him for me and help me put him out of his misery. Huh. Well, we got a bounty. All right, where is he supposed to be? All the way up there. Damn. All right, Emerald Ranch it is. Wait, where's my horse? Why, this is all coming together wonderfully. The final piece of the puzzle. <laughs> Train station's over here, I think. And you 
know what? Let's take a train up there. Hello, sir. Nice to see you again, sir. Hope you have a good trip. Do not want to activate a train robbery because I have other things to do. Okay. Such as grab this man. Better. Oh, uh, well, how do I see? Now I gotta go around the train. Clean the weapon a little bit first. Oh, she is not in a good condition. Alright. We'll clean the other one later. Good thing we'll be coming up at him at night too, so the party might actually be asleep. Let's hit him. So, any regrets? Oh, what? Did he get away? He was right in. Oh, well, okay. He was right in. I could see him on the minimap still. Whatever. <laughs> We're gonna clean this up. Hey. 
and just go in guns blazing. Yep. No, -uh. this place ain't. Hey, I got you. Oh shit. Relax, boy. Shut up, you kid. Boy. Hey, meet a damn cork band. You ain't going to court. This ain't America. We ain't free no more. Can't raise no animals, take no wives. All I did was grit. <sighs> Sounds like sour grapes. You know, you ain't going to court. You ain't going to jail either. I'm taking you to a professor I know. What in the hell are you talking about? You're a lucky man, mister. You get to be part of a great experiment. Shut up! Huh? You ain't gonna die needlessly is what I mean. Nope. Your death's gonna be in, uh... Important step in the advancement of human knowledge. What the hell you say, mister? This professor, Andrew Bell III, I believe he said. He's a little odd, maybe harebrained, but I got no reason to doubt the quality of his work. What's this damn professor got to do with anything? Well, he wants to try this new electricity chair on you to kill you. You may. <clears throat> no! Yeah. Well, he's gonna strap you into this contraption, <laughs> run a large electric current through your system. It's got something to do with moonshine. I don't quite know what. <laughs> I guess that's why he's a professor and I'm the bounty catcher. Well, as I said, I can pass on his assurances that this is a most humane way to go. It'll be just like... Well, like switching off a light. <laughs> they wouldn't let you do this to me. They wouldn't. Oh, they would. And we got a permit and everything. You was in animal husbandry, am I right? Well, you ever seen lightning strike livestock, Mr. McDaniels? Now, I ain't ever seen the actual impact, but I came across a pasture sometime after. The storm had just cleared and there was smoke in the air, smell of burning hair. No. There must have been a dozen head of cattle lying there, piled up, mangled. Strange scars across their backs, legs, and necks. It's half like they was burned, half like the skin was ripped off. No! Eyes bleeding. Some of them popped out. No! If I hadn't seen the storm, <laughs> I would have thought some devil caused that mischief. But, no, sir. It was light. Oh, son of a bitch. Oh no! Shit! Come on, buddy. 
Uh-huh. Yeah, me too. Well, you'll be happy to know we ain't got far to go. Hold on tight now. <laughs> I love for how for a second they were just both utterly fascinated by by the electric chair concept. <laughs> I mean, because it's the 1890s, of course they would be. I suppose I wouldn't either. Oh, he's back there crying. Professor will be real pleased to meet you. <gasps> no! Here, I got him. Bring him to me. Wonderful. Just, just wonderful. Come on. Don't be shy now. Let's go. <gasps> Come on, buddy. Time to make sure you get put to sleep. Uh, put him down just there. Now, where's my money? Um... Money? Yeah, for all the running around I've been doing. Uh, oh, well, once they buy my humane electric ending facilitator, uh, there'll be money enough for you, sir. Well, let's hope. All right, let's get our, our, um, our poor unfortunate ready for the demonstration. Oh, do come and watch. It'll be amazing. Come along. Okay. Well, we've got him delivered. Yep. Oh, come on, really? Get up. All right. So, ladies, gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, when we return, I think we shall see what else we can get up to in town. Probably just hang out with Charles, I guess. Maybe do a bounty or two. And we're going to go help... Uh, Eagle flies. So thanks so very much for watching it. If you're on YouTube, please uh, like, comment, subscribe on Twitch, drop me a follow if you haven't already, and I will see you all tomorrow. Mm -hmm.